Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and today's video I wanted to do a try on of sorts using the Be Beautiful palette by Rasha B Cosmetics. I received this in a September Slay Glam Box and I have played with this palette um, I don't think I've ever done a look on camera. I don't think. Um, I've been doing so many pink looks for um, Paint It Pink October. So, I'm not quite sure. But, at any rate, I wanted to get in here and play with these. So, they're all um, duos. There are no mattes in this palette. So, I just grabbed... Um, this is a Viseart palette. It, they're all mattes in here. So, kind of gave me a good range of what I want to, to do. So, let's get started. But, before we get started, how about do me a huge favor and hit that like button. And while you're there, slide over and hit that subscribe and the bell. It's free. It don't hurt a thing, and it helps me out a great, great deal. Okay, now we got that all out, all out of the way. Let's put some Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. This is in the shade. Is this in the shade fair or medium? The writing's wore off. But that's what it looks like. So, let's put some of this on my balls. And I am not going to be doing a pink look today. As a matter of fact, um, my eyes are still stained pink. This is a pre-film. I don't know when I'll have it go up, but today is the 22nd of um, October. The very last week in October is um, not going to be painted pink. My That series is done. I did want to do other things the last week, especially to get some of um, some fall looks going, some favorites and fails, empties, things like that that I still wanted to have done in October. All right. Now that we are all primed, let me grab a brush, which is right here. Swish it around to make sure everything is off, and I'm going to spray it with my Cinema Secrets. I love this stuff right here, y'all. It, it's instant. You can um, spray it. And it instantly dries and cleans. So, I think I'm going to start with that shade. These don't have names, but I'm going to go in with that one. Then I'm going to deepen it a little bit with this one. And then I'm going to go in with... Probably this one and then that one. Just to kind of give you an idea. I may do one color on one eye and one on the other. Just because I'm not... I don't have any plans to go anywhere or do anything. So, I can do the two color look. <laughs> Mm 
Are y'all loving the fall weather? If you've gotten fall weather where you are, <laughs> where you're watching from, I am in North Carolina, and fall has finally came. Yesterday, it was 34 degrees. I even took a picture in my car. I was taking, um, or excuse me, it was Thursday. It was 34. I was taking um, my grandson to pre-K, and I had a warning pop up in my car on my the little where the tells you how fast you're going to speed thingamajig. Anyway, it gave me a use caution. Roads may be icy. I was like, oh, <laughs> not that the roads are going to be icy, but it was because it was finally getting to the weather, hoodie weather. I call hoodie weather. I'm just not a big fan of the heat. I like it when it's nice and chilly. I even had cooked butter beans in the crock pot. I think it was the night before. Yeah, it was the night before that I cooked um, my butter beans because it was the perfect weather for it. So I dug my crock pot out. And I couldn't find any sausage at the grocery store. My husband likes the fresh, what they call dry sausage. I don't particularly care for it. I like smoked sausage. But anyway, they didn't have they didn't have hardly anything. All I could find were breakfast links and I didn't want to use that. So I ended up I had some bacon in the refrigerator. So that's oops, that's what I used. I fried up some bacon. Diced it up, fried it, and while my beans were in the crock pot, I put that bacon in there and some of the bacon fat, and it was very, very good. I used the little butter beans, or lima beans, some people call them lima, round, round here in the south, we call them butter beans, baby butter beans, <laughs> all right, that's all the mats that I'm going to go in with, I'm satisfied with that, these are so beautiful, so beautiful, let me swatch some and see what I want to use. I'm looking at four greens, but let me put them on my hand and see what they switch to. Some blues. Let's see about this purple. Oh, that's pretty. And this copper. And that. Those are three more. Let's see. That's those three swatched. All right, I think. I'm going to go in with Yep. I'm going to go in with this shade. It looks very purple. 
there. But on the hand, it's kind of purple, leaning towards brown and green. So we're going to see what that looks like first. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to use this brush, which is just a Morphe flat. But it's kind of got a little bit of a fluff to it. And I'm going to wet this. And take a swallow of coffee. Okay, we'll do this eye with that color. That's pretty. It's coming off. Purpley. Wonder if it will. Let me try using my finger. It's pretty. It's coming off. Very purple. All right, well, let's see. Let's take and do this eye green. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this bright Actually, I'm gonna use this this green. Looks green and then it looks blue. And then now it looks purple, so we'll see. We will see what color it shows up. All right. Okay, it's showing up blue. my hand. I mean my finger. They are pretty. They don't pop as much as I really, really wanted them to. But Let's put some over it. Let's see if we can't give this a fighting chance. I'm going to go in with this one. It's, it's shifting quite a bit, <clears throat> even just moving my head, not necessarily even the palette. And I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and see what I can pull off with this. Mm. Use my finger. That brightened it a little bit, I think. It gave it more of a I don't know, bluey, bluey tone. And for this eye, what color do I want to go in? Mm. Let's go in with this deeper purple right there. Oh, no. right back in here and see and get that green off and let's see if we can get anything to show up okay I'm definitely seeing it Let's 
put a shade in between these two to kind of marry them. I'm going to go in with this one. And that's what that looks like, just to kind of put in between. To not give it such a harsh, harshness. Let me see if it's shifting for you guys. And on this eye, let's go in with, let's go in with this copper. Or no, let's go in with this greeny right there. These don't have names on them either. So. Um, let's put this right here. Okay, yep. This did fine with the brush. Definitely the two, I can see the two different greens. Very pretty. And I'm going to marry those two with that, that color. And I'm just going to use my finger for that because I don't, I don't want too, too much. Use the brush so I can see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I really like this palette. A little bit more of that green over top. Not at all am I mad. I like this. I think they don't shift quite as bright as some of my other ones. But it's a beautiful palette. They're very soft. Very, very soft. But... Definitely am satisfied with the look that I came up with. And that's what they look like. Make sure I have lipstick on my teeth. And not going to do anything on the bottom. Because, but, I mean, these, this is pretty. This is pretty. And I think... For shits and giggles, let's just see if I can take one of these colors and just do the whole eye. Like, let's see if I can take the green and make it purple to match this one. If you're ever in a pinch. And they all shift. This is so, so weird to, um, because they, they look one color and then when you look at them again, it's like they've shifted. Just seeing if how well everything really layers. So far, so good, kids. And this isn't even with a wet brush. The, what the first one was, that shade, I think I did 
just by this one now. Hmm. Scan a rider. Is it this one? Now I'm gonna go use what's on this brush and just kind of go over my hood a little bit. Like this one is. Hmm. Yep. I would definitely go out of the house like that. Even in using two totally different color combinations originally. From my end, I can't see that, that this eye ever had any green on it. So, let me get up close and see if you guys can see that. All right. Again, I like... I already love this palette, but I like this palette. It, it's nice. Um, I think you can create a whole lot of looks with this. Um, you know, I haven't really tried it to see... If they, if these blend good in terms of, well, let's just try it. Let's just take and dip into one of these shades and see how it, it blends as a shade in general. Um, kind of. Yeah, I would definitely say you need mattes. These aren't that easy to me to blend as standalones. But that's not to say that somebody else couldn't make it work. I just couldn't very well. But again, I mean, if I had to leave the house right now, I would. Wearing this. Okay, guys, that is my review of the Rasha B Cosmetics, the Beautiful Palette. Again, this came in the Slay Glam box, but um, the creator of the Slay Glam box is also um, the owner of Rasha B Cosmetics. So, go check them out. They are, let's see, does it have a... I'm pretty sure they have an IG account under Rasha B Cosmetics. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, if I remember, I'll link it. All right, guys, be beautiful, be kind, and I'll see you the next time. Bye.